It's Tom. The bass line that I have for today is the classic Good Times by Chic and was played by Bernard Edwards. The track is a disco classic. The bass line was one of the main influences for Another One Bites the Dust by Queen. And the bass line was sampled by the Sugar Hill Gang for Rapper's Delight, which was one of the first, if not the first, mainstream rap song. So it's a really important bass line and it's also just really fun to play. So today I'll play through it a few speeds and I'll also do a tutorial as well. So the first thing to notice about this bass line is that there are quite a few of these staccato notes which are the ones which have the dots. So for example, like this one. With those notes, you want to stop the note suddenly after playing it. So you need to be pretty comfortable with muting the strings, either that one, this hand, your left hand or your right hand. So instead of the notes kind of one bleeding into each other, they need to stop and then start again. So that is a really important part of the, the technique. Also we have quite a few rests there, so make sure we have that silence uh, at this point and, and this point, etc. So we don't have the notes just kind of trailing off. So it's nice and short and punchy. And the third thing is that the rhythm of this track is tricky and when I was actually tabbing it out and listening to it, I was actually I realized I was actually been playing it wrong for my whole life. <laughs> um, it's because some of the rhythms are actually different than than I, what I kind of thought they were. So the rhythm, nice and slowly, will be one, two, three, four, e and a one, e and two and three and four and a one, two, three and four e and a one e and a two and three a four e and a one i don't know if that makes it easier or not but that is the rhythm of the song so it's more important that you just make sure when you're listening to it or when you're playing through it that you kind of have a metronome on or a drum beat and just try to make sure that each note is kind of syncopated to the to the right beat in terms of like uh technique was was tricky this last that last beat there is tricky to kind of get the fingers um, moving fast enough. Uh, and also, I've, I've personally found that this, this, these couple of beats here were, were tricky um, to try to, to make sure that you're kind of playing those staccato, but so playing those notes short, but also making sure you, the thumb's in the right position here on the right hand. And... And, and playing those open notes. Playing open notes and rests are always a little bit more difficult than, than if you're playing fretted notes. Anyway, so they're the things I found challenging or and all the, sort of, the things that you should be aware of when you're playing through it. Alright, so I hope you found that useful. Do subscribe if you want more content like this. And that's it.